Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Gold Rush the Game. Uh, yes, we are still continuing with our hard mode, and uh, just actually continuing on where I left off last episode. We're back at the, the equipment store here, and now we're going to start getting into a little bit of automation here. We're going to go ahead and pick up a small water pump. We're going to pick up the hog pan, hog pan pump. Uh, we're going to need a hose, uh, like so. And what else would I need? Uh, I think that's about all we can really afford right now. I'll grab a couple more buckets, and then we'll head back to the claim. Uh, I haven't smelted any of the other, other gold yet. Let's get four more buckets, and that's because I want the landlord to take his share of the, his rent out of the gold before it's taken to the blacksmith because of the gold laws. Uh, if doing it this way, letting him take the gold before you process it actually makes it cheaper. Believe it or not. And yes, that's the one I wanted to actually disable last time. So let us head back. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do any mining right now. Just because it's one degree. It's kind of dark. So we might sleep till the morning and see what the landlord says. Come on. Uh, fingers must be getting cold in this weather. Alright. Uh, do I did I bring the jerry can? Oh, I didn't even buy a jerry can. I guess we should buy one of those too. Because we need fuel. Yes, we are. We need fuel. We need better physics. Either that, or I just need to learn how to put things in a box better. Yeah, it does need some work. And again, it'd be nice to have stackable buckets. So, because when, when you get five or six buckets, you should be able to just stack them inside each other and unstack them. Because that's how things work in the real world, right? Yes. All right, hose and pump. This time we don't take the filter off. Alright, and I gotta go get a jerry can. I think I gotta buy some gas in the truck. Don't want to spend all my money. But we don't have a loan to worry about, so we don't need to worry about that. And that's not where I get a jerry can. There they are. Grab one of those, and check out, and head out. And then we gotta go to the gas station. I have a feeling we're going to be frozen in the morning, so I don't know if we're going to be able to do any mining or not. We will shall find out when we get there. Anyway, off we go. And whenever I turn my lights on, I always try to get the habit of putting the high beams on, so that way when I get out of the truck, I only have to hit the light button once and not have to worry about the game telling me, oh, well, you know, you're going to drain your battery every single time. I could disable the prompts, but I don't want to do that because, you know, when something breaks, when you're working, you want to know something breaks. And that's what the notifications are all about. Uh, we can get them in the tablet, but we have to. I think we have to spend ten thousand to unlock it. Either five or ten thousand for the notifications. Oh, <laughs> that's what I mean. We need a better vehicle. One of these uh, new fancy cars, uh, trucks that actually turn the lights off for you and all sorts of fun, interesting stuff. All right, so we go. Oh, that works. Might as well fill up the pump while we're at it. Okay. And I think I have enough money to fill up my tank. Guys, we are going to need it. With 20 bucks to spare. Cool. We got lunch. Anyway, off we go. So I shall meet you back at the claim. Alright, I'm back. I don't think I mentioned this in the last episode. But this right here is our winterizing shed. Basically, at the end of the season, before permafrost, uh, when we're ready to shut down for the year, we bring everything we can in here. That includes any machines that'll fit, any equipment. Uh, we've got lots of shelving space for all sorts of parts. So this comes in really handy. Uh, more or less, if you have a machine you can't fit in here, you got to take all the parts off that can break. Things like hydraulic hoses, and batteries, and fuel filters, and gears, and yada, yada, yada. Just to make sure that nothing breaks during the, the permafrost. But anyways, I thought I'd show you that. Uh, also, we have these fast travel points here too, as you can see, fast travel. Uh, they are 200,000 each to unlock. Now, it may come in handy down the road when we're in an emergency, we need to get somewhere, but we do, can order stuff online, so at least we can, at least we can get it when we need it. All right, lights are off, and let's see, it's eight o'clock at night. Let's see how the water's doing. Uh, water is still flowing. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to take this out of here. I'll probably sell that eventually down the road. Uh, yeah, 
because we can put the the hog pan on the, at the end of the duplex jig but it has to be the the pump version so we won't actually need that anymore we can get rid of that and i'm actually glad i bought this all stuck in the truck mm -hmm. <sighs> can anybody guess what i forgot i forgot the big hose so i'm gonna have to run back to town and i will be right back I just realized I don't actually have enough to buy a hose, but I should be able to get enough for selling this. Ugh, the way they place these objects sometimes, in case if you do play and you don't know this, if you have something in your hand and you hold the right mouse button, you can actually rotate it, get a little bit of view, and that's what I do with the sluice box extensions, because it, you're basically carrying it right in front of your face. But yeah, anyways, I gotta sell that because I don't, I actually need the money for the, the hose. Starting the engine helps. And taking the parking brake off. It's a habit. I do an X space, but if one of them don't work, then I get all confused. Alright, let's hop out. I don't care about the light, because we're just going to hop this in here. Let's see how much we can actually get for it. Make sure this is no pump. Yes. Alright, and 25 bucks. Yes, just enough. I think I've tried it before. I don't think you can actually sell the truck. But if you bring the truck in there, anything that's in the bed will be sold. So it's sort of like a quick way of selling stuff. Now when my differential's off, it warns me when I have it on. But it doesn't tell me when I have it off when I should have it on. For instance, here. Anywho, I shall return. Just at the Magnetite area here. And apparently there's another story quest here. Or story page we can look for. I knew there was one around here somewhere. I just didn't know where it was. I'm assuming it's going to be down in here somewhere. Or not. Is it going to be in here? Nope. It's an invisible wall. Alright, well it's over here somewhere. Is it in here? There it is. Let's see what we have here. Alright, stories, magnetite area. Wow, lots of stories. Factory. Here we go again. Apart from the sobbing, now I hear some words. I'm sure it, w it were words, but somehow different. Incomprehensible. I want to, went to staff so they would check the vents. It, it's always... As always, they didn't find anything. Now they look at me like I'm nuts. And I may have uh, a, an answer to that. We'll actually go check this out. It's actually a perfect time to do it since it's dark out. So we're going to head back over here. And there's a, a little campfire by the, the trailer. And I went to check it out. And there was something interesting there. And I thought we'd go check it out. I have no idea what it's about. But I think there's a story page there as well. We'll go check out. Uh, and yes, I did get the hose with $1 to spare. Yes, I know. Big money. We're making it big in Haynes, aren't we? Sure. Anyway. We'll head over here and you can... That's not the campfire I'm talking about. There's another one just past the water tower. And let's see if we can... Like a glove. That's the wrong button. There we go. Alright, so let's head up here. And I think there was a story page, but I never really looked at it. You can see the flames up there now. But there's something spooky going on at the old Arnold. So we got a little campfire here. I can't remember if there's a story page. No. And then we have a shovel that's in here. And I think... Eventually... Come on, are you actually going to show up? I don't think it is. Might not be the right time. I might have to find another... I don't know if you hear that, but I hear wolves. That's cool. Now there's uh, we have a guest here. I'm gonna come check that out later. Anyway, let's get us set up. Well, we're actually more or less ready to get set up. We are not frozen. We might actually be able to get some mining done. All right, let's get this thing in. Um, get this out of my way so I can actually see where I'm running, so I don't trip over myself and freeze and drown and have no one to file claims against. 
Okay, so now we grab the hose. Hose number one, hose number two. And I forgot the water filter. Which is fine because that thing's 170 bucks. So we'll have to pick that up on the next run to town. Okay, grab a hose. Get me off of that. Run over here. And that helps if I actually hook that up to the right right connection. So we do that. I'm gonna take that off and put it over there. And let's see. It is getting late, so I'm actually gonna have to get the rest of it set up and I'll bring you back in the morning. And here we are on day two. Temperatures two degrees and rising, which gives us good. We have running water. And the landlord only took twenty five grams, so we actually have a few bucks in the bank if we really need it. But that's not my worry right now. My worry is the early bird gets a golden worm, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run a few buckets. This is gonna make it so much easier now, so I don't have to actually stop and get water. But it still takes something like a hundred shovels to fill this thing. So I guess I'll be back when I have a couple of buckets, anyways. Okay, I'm just working on the second run now, and uh, yeah, the temperature is dropping significantly. And I have a feeling I'm going to be losing water here pretty quick. Like, look at that, minus 3 already, minus 3.4, minus 4, and we should be freezing up any time now. I was just about to just put my foot in my mouth saying, you know, this is the first time I've been on day 2 of season 2 and not have my water freeze up. Oh, looks like she might happen. Minus four. But I'm going to keep on going here and I'll bring you back when... Never mind. Ah, uh, yeah, we're frozen. Doesn't look like we're frozen, but we are. And I don't think... I don't think we actually have water here, do we? God, these hoses sometimes... I know there's a trick to them, but no, we're completely frozen. Kind of sucks. Did I actually have water in here? No, I didn't. All right, well let's we'll let that go. I do actually have one here, and I got some water in the the tent here to to pan this. So let me pan through this, and I'll let you know what we got. Okay, well we didn't get a whole lot from that. About fifty-one grams, which is Better than nothing, I guess. It's certainly not the big payday I'm looking for. Uh, yes, it is still minus four. So let's go take a, a nap for an hour and see what happens. And there we go. Sleep for an hour and it goes from minus four to plus four. Which means we should be thawing out here pretty quick. Wait for it. Wait for it. I think it's time for another hour. Still a little groggy. Oh, the sh dirt shoveling makes me tired. Alright, and there we go. Let the water flow. Are you seriously still frozen? Come on. Oh my god, I can walk on water. Really? At 4 degrees, it's still not thought out? Well... Gotta get myself a hammock set up by the water stream just for the sake of it. See, and this is my biggest mistake when I first started doing the uh, the hard mode. When I first started doing it, is I was actually sleeping through the time, like sleeping through the day. I didn't, I couldn't run, so I just slept for the entire day, and that was it. Are we still frozen? Really? One way to find out. Uh, we're still frozen all the way down. Hmm. You'd think you would have thawed by now. At four degrees. Six and a half, actually. We should be flowing pretty quick here. Let me go take one more quick little snooze. Another quick cat nap. Basically, you have a statistic of how many hours you've napped waiting for water to thaw or water to return. Hooray, we have water. We can run again. Alright, back at her. I shall return. 
Okay, so I decided to be a little energetic and I decided to run three more buckets. I'm actually just finishing up the third one now. As you can see, we're almost out of gas, but that's that's fine. I haven't had the top thing up, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, decided to take advantage of the, the warmer temperatures, so that's out. Uh, take care of the warmer temperatures and the actual running water and get an extra bucket through. And then what I want to do is I actually want to want to get all this stuff panned before the end of the day because I want the landlord to take his cut now so I can go sell it and we can go buy some stuff tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this. I got two more buckets behind me and I'll bring you back after I got it all panned and we'll get a final total. Okay, so the first bucket got us about 65 grams or 55 grams. So that's actually a little bit better than the last one. And the second bucket gives us 60 grams, which isn't bad. I don't know if I had anything in here. No, I don't. So now for the last one. And it looks like the last bucket gave us another 55, somewhere around there, giving us a grand total of 236, 239, minus the 18 that we started with, gives us a total of 222 for the day, or roughly. Now the question is, what's the landlord going to take out of that? Oh, well, we'll find out. Sleep till dawn, and let's see. We lost 66 grams, so we have 1700 grams at about $43 a piece. We got about eight grand, eight grand in the bank. We don't owe the bank any money at all. Uh, we will have to borrow some money just to smelt this stuff down. Uh, but yeah, it's the smallest loan we can take. The biggest loan we can take is 750 because we got to sell more gold. And I don't have any bars to sell, but that's fine. Uh, stock is lower, but whatever. Early days, right? But anyways, I think this is a good place to call it here. I, I may end up doing uh, the series day by day because there's only 40 days in the in the season. Because each each season has 10 days, and there's no guarantees we're going to go into the winter, anyways. But anyways, uh, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.